What can be done to soften the impact of the crisis on workers and promote a better, more employment-friendly recovery? This study reviews international evidence and proposes three policy responses. The first one has to do with how to protect workers. Many places in Latin America do not have an employment insurance. This map shows that two-thirds of the countries in the region lack these systems. And where these programs exist, often the reaction of unemployment insurance claims to crisis is disconnected. And even when this is not a problem, there is a large share of the population that is informal and cannot be covered by these traditional systems. This means that while economic crises have lingering effects on unemployment in some groups, such as low-skilled workers and new entrants, as we, as we discuss in this report, they truly lack assistance. To fill this gap, the region could consider creating and reforming an employment insurance, making short-time compensation programs a permanent part of the economy, and giving them the ability to adapt fast to changing conditions. In addition to income support, to protect workers, Latin America also needs to integrate better the social protection and labor policies into systems that provide support, but also prepare workers for new jobs through renewed reskilling and reemployment assistance. However, for these programs to succeed, they really need to be specific to the worker needs carefully coordinated with other parts of the social protection network and closely monitored and well-funded. There is a lot of international experience on addressing this issue described in this report. But protecting workers is not enough if there are no jobs. So the second dimension is facilitating employment creation, which requires productive, dynamic firms, stronger competition, more flexibility to manage human resources, reduced subsidies will help from trade policies to public procurement, governments can create a better environment for competitive firms to prosper. Sometimes, however, jobs disappear in some places and are created in others. So the third key dimension is what it takes to have dynamic regions and help workers be where the jobs are. This involves, for example, target public investment in transportation, bringing workers closer to the jobs, or affordable housing, making living in big cities where the jobs are not prohibitive. So the question is, could COVID-19 be an opportunity to beat bad crisis management in Latin America?